Still following. I'm the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. The one who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Almighty God, by the death and burial of Jesus, your anointed, you have destroyed death and sanctified the graves of all your saints. Keep our sister Greta, whose body we now lay to rest, in the company of all your saints, and at the last, raise her up to share with all your faithful people the endless joy and peace won through the glorious resurrection of Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Truly I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. If anyone serves me, he will follow me, and where I am, there shall my servant be also. And if anyone serves me, and if Greta did anything, she served other people. If anyone serves others, the Father will honor him. And so ensure in certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to Almighty God our sister Greta, commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, and ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. May the Lord bless her and keep her. The Lord make his face to shine upon her and be gracious unto her. The Lord look upon her with favor and give her peace. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, by your death you took away the sting of death. Grant to us, your servants, so to follow in faith where you have led the way, that at length we may fall asleep peacefully in you and wake to your likeness. To you, the author and giver of life, be all honor and glory now and forever. Amen. May rest eternal grant to bread, O Lord, and light perpetual shine upon her. the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord make his face shine upon us. May the Lord look upon us with favor and give us peace. Amen. And amen. Hope you can take some time to greet one another and share another memory or two. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. none of us dies to himself if we live we live to the Lord and if we die we die to the Lord so then whether we live or whether we die we are the Lord we have a poem we do, we do. 
Yes. Could you maybe intru- hope I'd watch you introduce my name is John Lenglad, I'm a retired pastor. And um, Pastor Sandy, our current pastor, allowed me to do this service today. So come introduce yourself in sure. connection with our beloved Greta. Sure, sure. My name is Daniel Helberg. I am Greta's nephew. I'm her older brother, Lars Helberg's youngest child. And I'm joined here by my daughter, Noelani, who's now a student here in San Diego. I no longer live in San Diego. I'm trying to make my way back. Uh, but uh, Aunt Greta requested that we um, read this poem at this service. <laughs> I just received it by text. <laughs> so, so <laughs> bear with me here. Right. <laughs> You've got a good name. So you, it, it, I have a good name. You, you have a great name, and you drive a Volvo. <laughs> she yeah, you're very happy. Right. 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 So let, let, uh, let me begin. Now, roses are lovely and fragrant, but whoever tasted them fried? And lilies are nice to lay on the breast of one who has lately died. But onions, aroma immortal that smother a steak well done. I know there are onions in heaven, for they have such a heavenly smell. Thank you. (laughs) 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 Thank you all for for coming out. Think of a um, thing I have as an obituary from somewhere.